Item 10C, receive a report and adopt a resolution authorizing the sale of wastewater revenue refunding bonds to refinance outstanding 2002 installment payment obligations and approving the final form of related financing documents and approving official actions. Honorable Mayor, members of the City Council, in 2002, the City issued $9.8 million worth of certificates of participation to fund improvements to the City's wastewater system, which were necessary to bring the City into compliance with the Regional Water Quality Control Board's 2007 Season Desist Mandate. And I believe I might have caused a little bit of confusion with the use of the year 2007. The mandate that it was received in 1997 with a 10-year uh, window to com complete those improvements. I just want to clarify the use of the 2007. The projects completed with these funds included the 7th Avenue Relief Sewer, Keynes Avenue to Angus Relief Se Sewer, Angus Connector Sewer, the Angval Relief Sewer, and the Rollingwood Relief Sewer. All the proceeds from the 2002 issuance have been spent and all projects have been completed. As of July 2013, the city's outstanding principal is $7.55 million. The current rate of interest on these outstanding debt ranges from 4.25% to 5.125% over the remaining 19-year term. The city's financing team, which consists of our financial advisor, Fieldman Rollup and Associates, our bond counsel, Jones Hall, and Prager Sealing Company as the underwriter have determined that the market conditions are right to consider a refunding of this outstanding debt. Current estimates indicate that the city could lower its interest rate to a range of 3 to 4.25 percent over the remaining 19-year term, which would cal calculate to a net present value savings of $1.2 million or an estimated $70 to $80,000 a year savings to the wastewater fund which also includes all costs associated with the uh, issuance of this refunding. Should the City Council choose to move forward this evening with the refunding, adoption of the resolution that is before you will authorize the City to move forward and will approve the following documents. There's a preliminary official statement, which is the document, um, a very thick document, which is circulated to the potential investors, which provides a description of the City, the wastewater system, and the overall finances of the system and the risk factors that invest, potential investors need to be aware of. There's the indenture of trust, trust, which is the agreement between the city and its trustee union bank that represents the bondholders and the rules and responsibilities of each party. The bond purchase agreement, which is the agreement between the city and the underwriter to purchase and accept delivery of the bonds and also includes the not to exceed 0.8% amount um, that the underwriter is entitled to um, as part of their fee. And also, just to highlight that the net present value savings that I mentioned represents about approximately 8% savings. However, the resolution before you this evening um, does have an amount of 5% as the threshold in that the city would not move forward with this refunding if the savings would not were not in excess of 5%. So at this point in time, that savings is estimated to be 8%. So assuming City Council approval of these items, the next steps will be to secure an underlying credit rating from Standard & Poor's, which we would anticipate by the end of next week. And then we would conduct an order period to secure investors and execute the bond purchase contract. We anticipate entering the market by July 30th. And then we would close, off, close the bonds and pay off the 2002 certificates on or before August 15th. So that concludes my presentation. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Any questions for Kim? Through the chair. I just had a thought. Um, as part of our, our current uh, endeavor in replacing uh, sewers and upgrading our system, th there was discussion that there would be, a, 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 it would be very likely that we would have to incur some sort of debt to um, allow us to uh, replace things on a timely basis and uh, allow the rates to catch up with that. And I'm wondering if we're seeing favorable rates right now if we should be considering uh, issuing new debt to finance some of those projects to take advantage of the rates. And if so, um, would it be possible to combine new debt with the retirement of the old debt uh, and creating a larger package that might be more attractive to investors? 
I'm going to defer the second part of that question to our financial advisor about the packaging of the two types of debt, because uh, I'm not entirely sure um, how that uh, would work. On the, to answer your first question about whether or not um, we should be looking at bonding sooner, maybe rather than later, given the current interest rates, uh, you know, it, my, my response would be that given the current balance, the cash balance of the fund, we do believe that there are there's sufficient funds available to fund the near term, and when I say near term, I'm thinking the next two years uh, of capital improvements. And so I think you know the cost benefit to uh, bonding now to fund improvements when we probably have sufficient cash available for the next two years uh, would pro the cost would probably still outweigh as far as even though the interest rates are lower, but it is something that we can certainly look at um, again given the current interest rates. Mayor, members of council, Jim Fabian of Fieldman Rollup and Associates. This one, right? Okay. I just wanted to uh, answer the question. In, in a situation where you have a refunding of a, an existing bond issue and you combine that with a new money issuance, you would have some economies of scale that would be derived from combining those two activities together. In other words, your fixed cost would be spread up amongst a, a larger base. So there are some economies of scale of, of doing that. In working with uh, Kim and Connie and, and looking at the, uh, the refunding of the 2002 bonds and looking at the balances that have been accumulating in the wastewater fund and the status of the, the projects, we, we determined that it was best to move forward with the standalone refunding at the present time and look at uh, new money issuance down the road over the next couple of years as the, the projects uh, get designed and uh, we, we look at uh, the pay, a pay-go approach to paying for those projects versus externally borrowing for those projects. But at, at this time, uh, we would be solely looking at going forward with the ref refunding of the existing 2002 bonds. Anything else? Questions of staff or action by the council? What are we doing? I guess I, uh, I'll introduce the resolution for a vote. Council Member Salazar? Aye. Council Member Medina? Aye. Vice Mayor O'Connell? Aye. Mayor Ruane? Aye. 